At halftime, University of Tulsa trailing SMU, but it's a 60-minute game and another 30 minutes yet to go. Let's go back to Dallas where Rick Corey and Todd Graham talk about halftime adjustments and get you ready for second-half highlights. All right, thanks, Bruce. All right, Coach, at the half, you know, there are times when this one was really didn't have any rhythm at all, yet you still at the half you go in and you go look around, look what's happening. Man, we are not only in it, we're solidly in the middle of it. What were you talking about? Well, you know, the times that I've been down here before, we really came out and played flat mm -hmm. and didn't play very well. I didn't feel like we did that. I really felt like at halftime that we would win the game. Mm -hmm. A lot of missed opportunities in the first half with a block field goal, uh, missed opportunities that balls hitting us in the hand and dropping it. Uh, you know, we had some miscues on defense where they were, you know, and they had some good receivers. You know, Audrey Robinson is a really good player. Their quarterback's a really good player. And, but our guys were battling, and we gave up a couple of things we shouldn't have. But I, I felt good. I felt like in the second half, I didn't think that. I thought they might score one more time. I mean, and that's what happened. I think, you know, in the second half, we come out and we play good enough defense. We got a turnover right before the half to Marco Nelson with a big hit. But uh, you can't in Conference USA come out and score 18 points and expect to win. All right, let's take a look at the second half highlights. Watch Tulsa really play well defensively here at Ford Stadium. Ball at the 31, first down and 10 TU. And the handoff goes straight up the middle. Pretty good hole for Singleton. 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 32 yard line. Singleton downfield for a huge gainer for the Golden Hurricane. All the way to the 31 yard line. That's a gain of 38 yards for TU Singleton. Flanked by Singleton. Kinney has the snap and drops back to pass. Throws right side and it is caught at the 14 yard line. Out of the hold of Such, straight on. Snap back, placement down, kick on the way and it is good. Got SMU's offense off the field. Fly sweep right side, Roberson around the corner, 15-20. He tried to break a tackle, he got hit hard at the 25. Second down and one for TU at their 25 yard line. And the handoff goes up the middle and diving forward is Singleton across the 30. Out of the shotgun, Kinney on third down and three. Tulsa snaps it directly to Singleton and he gets drilled at the 36. Tulsa tried to trick SMU, and TU will have Michael Such to punt it away. Here's his kick. Nice. High, spiraling kick, and a great kick. Johnson way back to the 12. He fumbled the football. It's loose on the turf. I think Jamil Owens got it. We'll see. A battle for the ball at the five-yard line. They're unpiling. Oh. SMU recovers. <laughs> Padrone. Operating from the left hash mark, back to pass. Here comes a blitz, and he gets hit in the backfield and dropped. Back at the 23-yard line, tie run Walker. Three receivers right, one to the left. Padron has the snap. Handoff on a draw play, up the middle by Zach Line. Breaking tackles, and he gets it to the 35, to the 36, to the 37, but short of the first down by two yards. Again, three-man front showing blitz, and here they come again. Back to pass, Kinney throws left side, caught at the 40 by uh, Demaris Johnson and then wrestled out of bounds at the 43. That's Kinney out of the shotgun, has the snap, back to pass, looking right, throwing right, caught by Johnson at the 45. Demaris Johnson, he sneaks underneath the tackler to the 42-yard line. I think this defense is relaxed a little. Now here's a quick throw to the right side. It's Roberson again, blocker in front, 30, 25, 22-yard line. First down, Golden Hurricane. Ball at the 21-yard line, motion left to right by Clay. On first down and 10, a quick throw to the right side, caught by Clay. 15, he's to the 10, he's out of bounds at the seven yard line. Motion by Clay toward the formation, he sets up on a slot on the right side. Kinney runs it up the middle, angling to the right, and he pushes into the end zone for a touchdown. Golden Hurricane, T.J. Kinney makes it 21 to 16 with 6.53 to go in the game, and Tulsa an extra point away from making it a four point contest. Motion left to right by Williams, here's the snap to Kinney. Kinney rolls to the right, rolling, rolling, throwing back to the left, a man open in the end zone, caught by Clay, two-point conversion, good. On third down and four, Padron out of the shotgun, cups his hand, here's the snap, he drops back to pass, here comes the rush, he's gonna run it up the middle, he gets it to the 45 and dives for the first down at the 48-yard line, oh my. Presumably they'll be handing it off the line here. And the handoff goes to line, left side around the corner to the 50, he cuts back 45, he's got a first down down to the 41. And that will just about do it, and he smartly stays inbounds.
So the final score, 21 to 18. But boy, you had the opportunities coming down the stretch right there. Uh, and I know on the sideline, you had to be thinking about, we got this one, we got this one. Yeah, I mean, the whole time, and when we scored and, and executed, you know, the mm -hmm. two-point conversion, you know, I thought we were going to win. And, and make, no, make no bones about it. I mean, I, I mean, our offense is a very, very good offense. SMU's got a very good defensive yeah. football team, and they played very, very well. And uh, I am proud of how hard we played. Uh, uh, but we did. We got, got a holding penalty on second mm -hmm. two. You, you, you can't have those kind of things happen. We get a fumble, uh, they, 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 and we knew it was going to happen. You know, they had fumbled several kicks, and we said, "Hey, expect the ball to come out, and then we don't get it." And uh, so the ball just didn't bounce our way. Uh, but I'm really proud to, 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 to coach these kids. I'm proud of their effort. I'm proud of the character and the toughness that they show. We just got to, you know, I'm kind of told them I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of losing games that we feel like we should win. And uh, our kids are determined to go to work and get better. I referenced in 05, you know, that we were sitting there yeah. four and four and, and uh, you know, I had to win out and have UTEP lose three. And we, we can't talk about anything other than the next week right. and going and getting a win and uh, let's get better because uh, we really, you know, beat ourselves because we, we didn't execute some fundamentals. Before the game, we talked about discipline and fundamentals and making sure that we executed. And, uh, and, the, and the difference tonight was in some key areas. We didn't do that. And that next game is next week at home against Tulane. And we'll kind of preview that, the green wave and the hurricane, when we come back. What is football? Once that hallowed piece of pigskin drops from the sky, it's four quarters of heart-pounding, hard-hitting, horse-throat-inducing action. It's heartache and heartbreak and a shot at glory. And in the middle of it all, it's easy to forget that it's a game. Sportsmanship is more than a handshake. It's an attitude. On the field and in the stands. Win or lose. Respect the game. We welcome you back to the Todd Graham Show. This is the 60th anniversary of one of Tulsa's best football teams and yet perhaps one of their most unknown. The team of 1950, they lost only once. Here's a look back at that 1950 Golden Hurricane squad. When listing the great TU football teams, historians often point to the unbeaten teams of the late teens and early 20s, the great bowl teams of the 40s, the Gator Bowl team of 52, the Blue Bonnet Bowl teams of the 60s, the Freedom Bowl team, and of course the recent TU 10-win teams. But rarely is mentioned the 1950 TU squad. First of all, we had a great group of football players, individual that could play together. We had great leadership in Fred Smith as one of our captains. And everything that he could do, he did for the betterment of the team. That brought all of us sophomores along. It was just a great group of guys, and you know, Marvin Patuzak, Howard Wall, Tom Hamm, Kay Vaughn, Ronnie Morris, you know, Jake Roberts, Jack Crocker. We just, we really had a good football team. And then playing for the University of Tulsa made it even greater because Tulsa was the smallest Division I team, and it was a challenge for us that we may have been small in number, but we were okay in the athletic area. Sixty years ago, TU went 9-1-1 under head coach Buddy Brothers. This was a hurricane squad that lost its only game at San Francisco in Week 2. Well, I think the disappointment was tough. It was bitter, but it also gave us the challenge that that football team needed to go forward. And Jack Mitchell came in and was patting everybody on the back and he said, guys, this will be the last game you'll lose this year. TU never slowed down, knocking off big time programs at home and on the road. It's hard to say which game was a change. Villanova was a big change. They at that time were a real fine program and we got, we beat them. And so, matter of fact, we beat them two years in a row. We played at Texas Tech. We ran that thing down there perfection. I think we beat them 39 to seven and, and ran up the highest total yardage in a game to that date. I think it was about 600 and something. And then we beat Arkansas, which is, was great because Arkansas had been pretty tough on us for the past few years. And we beat OSU and we beat Houston. The Golden Hurricane would end the season ranked number 19 in the nation, but for a couple of reasons, TU did not get a well-deserved bowl bid. 
I think one of the reasons why uh, we didn't get a bowl game that year was that we didn't play Houston until. And we are on the way. Gonna bring it out of the end zone. Look at the 13. Makes a cut. Burnett catches a seam. Look out. Got some speed. Has the bird. Here he goes. Still on his feet, midfield. Watch out. Take it all the way. 40. With a blocker in front. Rice will win. Oh, oh how about that? Touchdown. 91 yards. Welcome back to the Todd Graham Show. Rick Corey along with Todd Graham. All right, it's always important to have a crowd. Even more important this week, you got to get these guys. You got to get and watch these guys and appreciate how they play. Well, in our in our fans, I really appreciate you know our last home game. They they came out and supported, and I really appreciated that. And uh, uh, you know we need them to be out. Uh, this thing, the season is far from over with. Uh, when things get tough, you know uh, you know our guys are going to persevere. Our guys going to get better, and this team is yes, and season is far from over with. So uh, we need our fans out. We need them out and and uh, cheering us on uh, and create a great home field advantage there because we got a much improved Tulane coming in, team coming in that just beat Rutgers, I guess, last week. So uh, we've got to come back and not worry about anything but going and getting a win at home. Then we'll have an off week and get ready to go to, to the next one. You know, and you made the great point of that 05 team. It had two losses and it still wins a title and it goes to the Liberty Bowl. And when you look around, people don't remember anything but those wins at the end. They don't remember the rest of that stuff. So it's how you finish, right? You know, I remember being at UTEP and having to go do the, you know, talk to the media after that and then it was just doom and gloom, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, you can always, you know, everybody always, I always look at the positive and everything, and, and actually a lot of people uh, look at the negative. I know we've got a, a good football team. The difference between winning and losing in this league is, is very, very small. But uh, that group of guys decided that they were going to go and they are going to put their head down and go to work. And uh, we had some good things happen to us. You know, UTEP lost out, lost the last three. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's the, the team that I look to and talk about the most. And uh, in life, you know, you face a lot of adversity. And, uh, you know, it's how you respond to that. Anybody can respond when things are going good and things are easy. But we've got some great players, uh, great seniors. You know, Charles Clay, uh, uh, you know, you look at Charles Davis, you look at uh, uh, Trey Johnson and all the guys Tanner that we had. Oh, Tanner Annell and uh, yeah, Audric Ray. And these guys, have, man, they've sunk their heart and soul in this program. And I know they're going to respond. And uh, uh, I really appreciate how our fans uh, are appreciative of those guys because these kids are great kids and how they compete at the highest level in the classroom and do what they do on the football field is amazing so I'm really proud of them even though we fell short tonight to a good team I'm very proud of our guys and we need to see you come out and be proud of them next week it's Tulsa and Tulane we'll come to you at H.A. Chapman Stadium after that one Thanks, guys. Well, that guy over my shoulder, Jerry Rome, by the way, transferred from SMU to Tulsa and had great success for the Hurricane in the mid-60s. Well, for TU, it's homecoming, and it's coming up on Saturday. It's Tulane, and it's a big game as always. 631 go tu is the Hurricane ticket number, or you can go online at TulsaHurricane.com. For head coach Todd Graham and for Rick Corey, I'm Bruce Howard. So long, everybody. The Todd Graham Show is brought to you by River Spirit Casino. Play your way. Bill Knight Ford, home of the Bill Knight Advantage. Mazio's Pizza, proud sponsor of the Mazio's Family Fun Zone. And by the TU Home Team, a and Security, Mullen Plumbing and Air Assurance, helping you maintain your home field advantage. The Todd Graham Show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and King Vision Productions.